Ladies and gentlemen, this is Rico Baird. Your famous reporter, new artist coming in. Um, I'm in South Africa right now, and I'm about to go on a tour to a place called Soweto. It's like the equivalent, equivalent of the hood in America, so today I'm going to check that out. I'm very excited about that, and it should be fun to come. So we about to check Soweto out and see what the culture of South Africa is really all about. I am on my way to Soweto with the one and only. Hello, Prosper. Are you in trouble now, Prosper? How you doing? Ultra. Y'all on camera. What's up, brother? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on? What's going on? What's up? T money. Is your boyfriend still in the hospital? or? <laughs> What are they on strike for? For money. For money. What is what what is it? South West Township. Now we're getting into it now, man. The architecture is so different. The way it's set up, you know. Look at the mall. House. Now, um, if you look right straight, put your eye over there. You can see the big houses, small houses, yeah. and things like that. It's only where <coughs> some of the houses started development after the new South Africa because people were not owning the house. And then around 1970s, because the work, working in the mine was becoming difficult, so the number of people were running short. Some of the people, they didn't want to work in the mine. This is brought by the government because we want to take some of the people and put them in here because they want uh, actually to develop the hostels in such a way that one block whatever can own by individual family. Yeah. Because for now, I think putting show repairing, or maybe if I think putting radios and TV repairs, or maybe some of them made a motor mission. And so some of them look at like some plastic, make some plastic heads, or some cosmetic heads, and sell to the people, and so some of them they survive. And so no social security, so we don't get nothing from... Has anyone ever shot music video here? Anything? No artists have ever come here and done anything? Music on? Okay. Yeah, so right now I'm See you guys, nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, good. Um, sure, so, guys. All right, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now recording. Just hold it. All right, okay. uh, that's like serpentine stone, and it's a guitarist. So to carve these, I'm using a chisel, a hammer, and a bit of wire, ah, I so I can get the color of stone also here. Yeah, so to make it shine, uh, for any minor scratches, you just apply a shoe polish, a natural shoe polish, to make it shine for any scratch. Yeah. Yeah. Then that's a nice piece there. It takes almost uh, two to three days to finish a piece like this because of this type of stone. This is an original piece. Can you get me? I'm getting you. Very clear. Uh, is it an original piece? What's your name? Lawrence. 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 Not from Moravia. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence has created this original piece of art. It's beautiful. The guitar. What's up, 
guys? Hey, you can check out the TikTok. Oh, are you on camera? Hey. You're on camera. <laughs> it's recording. Okay. Say something. Say something. Say something. See you guys. Live in a home in Soweto. Take a look around. Of this house. Hello. Yes, hello. How are you doing? Yes. Yeah, beautiful. Yes. Okay, guys. So, uh, uh, typically, this is a home. So, there's one uh, family living this home. So, uh, this is a kind of the kitchen, and that other side is a bedroom. And so, here's a kind of the paraffin stove. So, okay. it's actually a fancy cook with it. And this one over here is a coal stove. So, we normally eat during the winter time. Because the shack has become very cold when it's winter, so we heat the houses uh, with this uh, kind of a cold stove. And some of the people you normally use a paraffin stove uh, to heat the houses. So then, when it's summer times, then the shack has become very hot. And so, as I've said during the night, uh, we use a candles or paraffin and tonight. So, any questions you like to ask? Mm -hmm. So, does it, is it the smell that makes them go to it? No, it's sticky. No. Oh, they just land on it. Sticky, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I use that in uh, my medicine as well. It's just like my great grandma's place, man. It's really tough. So when it rains, is that ever a problem? Like yeah, as far as problem. If it's heavy rain, ooh, problem is leaking. Oh. What do you guys do? I mean, it's bad. You must put dishes. Oh, oh. Here, you see, it's damaged. Oh, yeah, it's brown here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm scared <laughs> now. The summer is coming. Now, still in Soweto at Nelson Mandela's home in Soweto, South Africa. <laughs> this is me, outside Mandela's yard. Hey guys, doing? Uh, what? Yeah. Hello, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, <laughs> This is a market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Soweto, South Africa. This is a market. They sell clothes, jewelry, stuff like that. Check it, uh, let me, uh, uh, we in Soweto, popping collars, my name is Rigo Bad, I got dollars, I'm hanging with the crew, that's how we get down, and I don't give a damn, cause yeah, we run the town, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>